gets hit above the shoulder. Yes, the video Twins fans can't forget when Twins shortstop Kyle Farmer was hit in the face with a 92 mile per hour pitch. He, you see here, immediately leaving the field for emergency surgery. And we haven't seen him back in the batter box since this moment. And it's been about a month since Kyle took that devastating blow to the face. And like many Twins fans, I wanted to see how he was doing. I was also curious how his wife reacted to that horrific video. Farmer gets hit above the shoulder. Right when I went down, I remember just feeling my teeth covering my, my tongue in the back of my mouth. It's kind of gruesome. Uh, I thought I was like swallowing my four bottom teeth. Number 12 twin shortstop Kyle Farmer remembers every detail from his at bat oh. after being hit in the face with a 92 mile per hour fastball by White Sox pitcher Lucas Giolito. Giolito's reaction will kind of tell you everything. I felt the trainers come out and then they, they took me under and the first thing I said to him was like you got to get me to a hospital and so they did got me there waited for surgery for like two hours and then they put me through surgery and uh, I was in a lot of pain after that. Yeah. Yeah, they did a really good job. A photo of Kyle moments after the hit so this was the... is too graphic to show you. I don't know if you want to see this. Believe me. <gasps> oh, my God. I didn't want to see my face either. As they were wheeling me into the hospital, I could feel all the eyes on me. And they, like, you know that look when, like, they look at you and they look down. They don't just, it, I was like, oh, I must look pretty bad. I wasn't here to see it. Um, we were on a plane heading to New York. And so I was keeping up with the game on my phone. And I see hit by pitch. And in parentheses, injury delay. When I see the delay on there, I knew it had to had to be bad. Kyle's wife Courtney watched the replay in Courtney horror, getting to his knees, unaware of the extent of his injuries. Kyle pressed up against his mouth. I was able to keep pretty calm. I saw the video after the fact, so I was able to see him get up and walk off the field, which helped me. 35 stitches, wires to put his teeth back into place, and four root canals later, Kyle tells me he's eager to get back out there. And your mental state, I mean, when you're up at bat and the pitch is coming at, you know, 90 plus miles an hour, what's going through your mind? Is there a new fear? Are there anxieties? Just know that that's very rare for that to happen. And uh, knowing that it's rare, you know, it's in the back of my mind, it, it keeps me safe, but there's always that little bit in the back of your head that says it could happen again. Um, but it's not going to change my approach to the game or my approach to hitting at all. I know he's nervous about it. I'm just worried about his mental aspect of it. It's, it's scary getting back out there. She worries about me, but she knows I'll be okay. And, uh, you know, that's, we're raising our son to be like that, too. So just tough it out and get back out there. For added protection, Kyle will now be wearing a face guard on his helmet, something a few of his teammates started wearing after they witnessed his gruesome hit. That's a new thing to get used to as well. Um, I wasn't wearing one before, and uh, now it's, just, it's in your visual a little bit, but you see a lot of guys wearing it now, so it's not, it's not that big of a deal. I like to tough it out, I like to grind it out, so I think any parents out there or any kids, you know, you're going to get hit, but just got to get back up and, and face the fear of not getting hit again. Yeah, he's wow. toughening it out for sure. He's playing with the Saints right now, and he mm -hmm. had a great hit the other day. So he's back out there with the face mask and all. He had a surgery yesterday morning. It was successful. He's Good. also hoping. He actually, I was like, when do you want to be back with the Twins? He's like, I want to be back now. He wants to play tonight against the Padres. So we'll, we'll wait and see. It's up to management for sure. It would be great to see him back out there again. I, I, I'm curious, the, the, the White Sox pitcher that, that hit him in the face, did he ever – Reach out to Kyle, apologize, speak to him. I had that same very question okay. because you're like, was it on purpose? And yeah. he says, from the pitcher's reaction, Giolito's with the White Sox, he felt bad. I guess he reached out. He didn't reach out to Kyle directly, but he reached out to some of his teammates just to check in on him. But he definitely felt bad about it. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm happy he's doing okay. Yeah. You listen to him describe the injury and his teeth being in the back of his mouth. He looks great, too. Yeah, now it's a mental game. He looks wonderful. Hopefully he can get back out there and start crushing it again. That would be great. Yeah, we're rooting for him for mm -hmm. sure.